that was great. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah.
Bonsoir à toutes et à tous. Bonsoir à tous ceux qui sont là en présentiel, ceux qui nous suivent sur, euh, sur YouTube ou sur euh, Zoom. Soyez les bienvenus. J'aimerais vous inviter à... Bonsoir à tous ceux qui nous suivent sur YouTube, sur Zoom. Nous allons prendre la chanson de joie au monde. C'est une chanson de joie au monde. Joie dans le monde, c'est une chanson de joie au monde. Joie dans le monde, le Seigneur vient. La terre accueille son roi, que tous les cœurs lui préparent une place. La terre et le ciel chantent, la terre et le ciel chantent, la terre, la terre et le ciel. Let us give a hand to our God this evening. We are live this evening. Revival, miracles, healings. Welcome to everyone in this hall at Oran La Ville. You who are watching us on YouTube, on Facebook, you who are on the Zoom session, you are numerous. You fought to have uh, space in the Zoom session. Welcome to everyone. It will be wonderful. This evening I'm with Jer Jeremy that you know. He is the favorite uh, speaker or orator of uh, IAHM. I believe that this evening God will manifest himself. God is great. He wants to do new things. We're coming to the end of 2021. It wasn't easy for everyone But I know that things go in one direction with God. It's from glory to glory. I believe that this evening we're going to experience his power, his joy. We are going to experience prophetic things for 2022. Amen. Wonderful. I would like to say this evening that God told us that he would manifest himself 
by showing his extreme goodness and generosity we can give the lord a hand and receive this gift that will come from heaven this evening god is going to save heal deliver baptize with the holy spirit but also there are all these gifts that will be distributed for you who are here in the hall you who are on zoom and youtube and also those who will watch over the next few days so get ready there are wonderful things that are being proposed this evening. I would like to present the people who will be participating this evening. There's the Gospel Center Band. They are ready. You listen to a first song. There are other wonderful songs that we're going to listen to. Let us appreciate them. For you who are at home, you can write on the chat that long live worship and praise. You can write a wonderful word on the chat. And there's also someone who's a part of IAHM, a man of God who has this gift of God. He can't be with us this evening in Switzerland, but he he is under a palm tree or coconut tree somewhere. I, would, I want to welcome Pastor David Terry. Good evening, David. It is our pleasure to see you. How are you? I'm doing fine. Yes, yes, it's 30 degrees over here. So I have, I feel for you. So it's really a, a pleasure for us to have you with us this evening. David, what do you feel for this evening? What do you perceive that God is going to do this evening? I really believe that God wants to manifest, to show forth his love and healing and a manifestation of the love of God. And we don't have to deserve it, but I believe we're going to receive wonderful things this evening. Yes, we agree with you, David. And for those who are, who are on the chat, you can write Amen that we agree with that. And you in the hall, you can, in spite of the masks that you're, the face mask that you're putting on, you can also say Amen. We're receiving this this evening. There are other people who are behind the scenes who are working for those who are not in good health. If you are sick, if you're ill, you don't need to wait till the end of the evening for prayer. You can call the team that is working with Eve and Sabine. I welcome Eve and Sabine Duprat, who are part of the Council of um, Directors of IAHM. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be with you. As Jean-Luc said, if this evening you need healing, go to what is on your screen now on healing-ministries.org and you can come into uh, the healing rooms for prayer. There are prayer members of the prayer teams who will pray with you and you have the possibility to have prayer in French and in English as well this evening. There are also people who speak English who can pray with you. Thank you very much, Eve and Sabine, for all the work you're doing. It is just extraordinary. I thank every member of the prayer teams, all of you working during these evenings, whether it's online or on site. There are also uh, people of the prayer teams here in the hall. If you're not well, if you're sick, there are people also in the hall who can lay hands on you. We will pray for you. There are men and women who've been trained and who are in the body of believers, the Catholics, Protestants, and people from evangelical churches, they know that Jesus is the only way, the truth, the life. They're baptized with the Holy Spirit and they have the gift of healing. And they're going to pray with you. There is also a group of persons, uh, social media, Marie-Laure and Stifu Kaiser, over to you. Good evening to everyone. And especially to those who are watching online, on YouTube, on Facebook, just to tell you that God is not limited to space. For those who can be with us physically, God also has something for you this evening. God is generous and he wants to give you something, healing, love, joy, hope. And we, we rejoice for what God is going to do in our midst this evening. Wonderful. Does your wife want to say something? I would like to say, just position yourself to receive from the Lord. Really, God doesn't only touch through prayer, but he's already touching, he's moving, he's already in this hall, he's already working 
on those who are watching online, maybe you're in your home, on your sofa. God is already moving and touching you. The presence of the Holy Spirit is more powerful than all you can imagine. So already position yourself to receive your miracle and what he has prepared for you this evening. Amen. Amen. We feel the presence of God in this hall at Oron La Ville, but is also invading right where you are. Just open up to the presence of the Lord. Whether you're Protestant, Catholic, from the Evangelical, Buddhist, no matter from where you are, the presence of the Lord is for everyone and God wants to just invade where you are. Open up yourself. And I call on Jérôme Chevalet, who is a part of the local committee of IAHM of Oran La Ville. I would like to ask him to pray. He's got a gift of prophecy and he, we're going to work together. He will release words. Maybe you already have Jérôme a word for this evening. I would like to pray. As we were preparing for this evening, I saw... A, a large crowd pre preparing themselves in the presence of the Lord. Someone might be saying, why am I aside? God has a word for you. He has set you aside to reveal you, you before people. God has set you aside to prepare you to share the good news. We're going to pray also for compassion to be stirred up in us, to have our heart open open to pray for that person we ask you lord this evening touch our hearts our spirits our souls come and move us tear us up so that we can turn towards our neighbor that we can pay attention to their needs that we have this compassion that comes from you so as to pray also for others oh that your will be done and your name be glorified this evening amen before we take a few songs in this atmosphere of Christmas, but also in this expectation of the manifestation of God in our lives, especially for you who are sick, who need healing, this evening is your evening. And I would like to share how it will, we will organize things for these gifts. There's something for everybody. Everyone this evening can have a, a gift. And I'll take the list because it's a long list. There are books that will be given here in the hall on the Zoom session and for you who are watching on YouTube and for those also who will watch over the next few days, you can participate. How can you participate? You can go to the website of IAHM. Jeremy, do you remember the link? C'est laguérison.org slash win, comme gagner. Win. Voilà, vous, vous l'avez à l'écran. Healing-ministries.org forward slash win. There's a QR code and there's a list you can fill it up. It's the same for you who are in the hall. You can participate in this contest. There'll be books of uh, David Terry that will be shared. Healing. The Sick, his last book that I really recommend, Meeting with the Holy Spirit, 21 Days uh, Listening to God, and another book, uh, Hearing God's Voice from David Terry, The Supernatural. Oh, these are wonderful books, books from David Terry. There's also my book. It, it backstage of Miracles, like... It's also Beyond Our Dreams from Werner and Mado Lehman. And for some of them fail. It's for those who are here physically. It's the city of Gilbert Chelembron Christmas songs. And we have a whole bunch of them that will be distributed. For those who are here physically, you'll receive more than others if you're here. And at the end of the program, at, at, at the back, just respecting interpersonal distance, we will share warm tea, warm wine, Christmas biscuits, and we will celebrate the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are other things that are proposed this evening. It's not a contest, but you have the possibility of receiving free of charge um, the training program for uh, uh, 
healing and, and power. These are lessons that can be given on site and online. And it, you'll have it over the next few days. How can you participate? You go to healing ministries dot org slash forward slash win and you can choose the gifts the prizes uh, uh, also depending on what happens this evening and then lastly here in this package there is an ipad that will be in the contest and in this ipad all that you have on this table with uh, apart from the chocolate boxes of course the courses of iahm it is all on this ipad and you can win this ipad you can participate healing-ministries.org forward slash win you fit in your name and it will be so, so uh, it, on the 22nd of january there will be a draw and the name of the winner will be selected. I think I've gone through the list. There's just one other thing. As you are on YouTube, the, on the YouTube page, you, there are other gifts that were suggesting. It's the other gifts such as seven days, seven vitamins, uh, first three sessions of the School of Miracles and Healing, books of David Terry, and also a little book that is called The Right Hand of God in Power. It was what I shared during the first evening, and it has been written out. I think we've gone through the list. Jeremy, would you like to say something else? No, I believe that it's wonderful to experience this generosity, all these gifts. But above all, it's God who wants to give gifts this evening. I know that God wants to pour out gifts and special things for every one of you. Just have your expectations even beyond the iPad, the presence of God and gifts from the Lord. Amen. I just invite you to lift up your hands as we sing this song. Come, all ye faithful. So sing with all your heart in your homes and for those who are here. Join this wonderful group. Oh, come, all ye faithful. Sauver 
Let us just lift up our voices this evening. Let's sing Comforter. i 
to hold you. Jésus, ton précieux nom est digne d'hommage. Jésus, merveilleux nom qui est semblable à toi, ô oh Dieu. Jésus, ton précieux nom est digne d'hommage. Élevons le nom de Jésus, chantons-le tous ensemble. Vous qui êtes à la maison. Let's lift up the name of Jesus. Let us sing together. Lift up the name of Jesus. Beyond the sicknesses, infirmities and pain, if you lift up the name of Jesus, he will manifest himself this evening. Let us sing unto him together. Let us sing unto the Lord. Let us lift him up. Sing unto him once again beyond cancer. Let us lift up the name of Jesus above every infection, every sickness. We lift up the name of Jesus. Ce soir, alors 
que nous sommes ici à Auron la ville et sur le live avec YouTube, Zoom. Nous élevons le nom de Jésus, ce nom qui est au-dessus de tous les noms, de toutes les puissances, au-dessus de toutes les puissances diaboliques. Tonight, we lift up the name of Jesus, the name that is greater beyond any demon power. I bind every demon power, every sickness, every infection in the mighty name of Jesus. I break all the power of the enemy that brings bondage and sadness. And as we lift up the name of Jesus, a spirit of joy and freedom will fill you, receive it in Jesus' name. The power of God is here and it's working. Marie and Stifu, would you like to say anything? Let us flow in this anointing of God. Before we hear the word, the word of God, the same anointing that is here is on you on Zoom. I see some people on Zoom who have um, a diabetes problem, and I believe that God is touching you and healing you right now. If that is you, I would like you to, um, to wave your hand. Please move your hand if, I, if that is you so I can pray for you. God, I pray for Theresa. Number three, that the power of God would come upon you. I command your body to be healed right now in Jesus' name. Teresa, the glory of God is filling you right now, there where you are, in Jesus' name. Someone is being healed. on Zoom, or he, wherever you are, lift up his name. His power will touch you right now. Your liver is being healed right now in Jesus' name. We bind every power of darkness that the glory of God would be made manifest in Jesus' name. Marie and Stifu, what is God showing you? We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are here. I feel like God is coming with, uh, with warmth, with heat, and he's touching you, and you will feel a heat in that part of your body where you have a sickness or pain. God is filling you with his presence wherever you are watching us from. There have been people who have already been touched and I invite you to test that part of your body where, where you were sick but I believe that God is already doing something. He's already healing you. And God is also um, touching people who have knee problems. If you had an accident, an operation, God is touching you and healing you right now. The son of Jack, Jacqueline, we speak healing over him, over his knee in Jesus' name. There are people here tonight who need healing and there's someone there's some who have issues with with their arm and you can't really move it. It, it hurts and you have issues with your um, elbow as well. Who is that? Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are touching him right now. You bring healing. I speak freedom. I believe there are two or three people. There are people here who have issues of, uh, if they have an eczema and you try to put your clothes on and it hurts. Who here in, in the room has, uh, has these issues with their skin? 
I command skin to be restored right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, come and touch this skin and bring complete restoration in Jesus' name. The power of God is here. And we will, we will sing one last time this song. And there is a lady who is watching us. Your name is Anne, and you are 52, and the Lord is touching you. I don't really know what is happening, but I saw the word fibro, and the Lord is healing you. Someone on Zoom has a liver problem, and the Lord is touching you right now. If that is you, would you please wave? And someone on YouTube has hepatitis. I'm not sure which type, but the Lord is touching you. And I I command every, every liver issue to leave your body in Jesus' name. That what Jesus did at the cross, that he died for our sin, but also for our sicknesses, that this healing would be would be applied to you in Jesus' name. Someone here in the room has, has a urinary problem, and the Lord is touching you right now, and I speak healing and restoration in your body in Jesus' name. If you are at home, Sing with us, sing with all of us. And as we lift up the name of Jesus, his power is touching you. He is here. And we lift up his name. We lift up Jesus. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, give him a round of applause. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Gospel Center Band from Oron La Ville. We can give them a round of applause and we welcome again everyone to this event that is in, interpreted in 10 languages. We, we welcome everyone. There are hundreds of people watching us tonight and here in the room there are many people as well. J'aimerais vous proposer d'écouter un témoignage d'une personne qui a vécu quelque chose d'extraordinaire. I would like to propose to listen the testimony of someone who experienced something extraordinary. Let us Bonsoir. welcome Doan. Comment tu vas? Ça va bien et vous? Où est-ce que tu habites? Good evening, Doan. How are you? Where do you live? I live in Bulle. In Gruyère, it's a wonderful region in Switzerland. There is something that you've experienced lately and you received a gift from God. Yes, I did. I would like to say that salvation for me is something extraordinary. I never imagined being able to, to experience God. I was looking for God, but I didn't know where he was. I didn't know he was the, 
the God of, of the Christians. And I heard about God, but to me it seemed too nice to be true, too beautiful to be true. And now that I live this experience, I feel like I live, I'm living my dream and God comes and he touches my heart every day. A year ago, I felt, while I was reading the Bible, I felt like I was vibra vibrating. And I said, there is a living presence. And I said, I want to keep trying to have this experience. And I noticed that this relationship with God was growing. At the time, I had a hard time. I was having a hard time giving up smoking and smoking cannabis. And I remember I was crying. I gave God everything and I said, I need your help. I need that you set me free and that you change me because it was horrible. I felt I couldn't give up, like give on, um, keep going like that. I felt I couldn't serve God. And another master, and I needed him to set me free. And he gave he gave me the strength. He showed me. That when, I, when I had a cigarette in my hand, it was like a, like a, an evil spirit. And he gave me peace. He gave me freedom. And he replaced this false piece of the cigarette with a real piece, authentic piece. And even people around me noticed that my face changed, my countenance, my way of thinking changed. And I believe it is important to know how to evangelize not only through our words, but, only, but also through what we do. There is a saying that, that says, I can't hear what you are saying because your actions speak too loud. And we can show people that we love God and that we want to follow him. And I invite people to, to share testimonies. And I felt that God changed my heart. Even if it's something that seems small, I encourage you to share it with people, even in the street, because you share something that is beautiful. It's not something aggressive. And that is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much. We can give him a round of applause. How old are you? I'm 20. At 20 years old, to turn to Christ, here in the room, there are people who are here for the first time who don't necessarily know God, and also on the internet who watch us tonight, people who are Buddhists, atheists, or maybe like you, Maybe they have a religious education, they heard about God. Like here in Switzerland, we can be Catholics or Protestants, but it doesn't mean that we, we know God necessarily. What would you like to tell them? It is important that you choose Christ because he's the only one who can give you everything that you need and fill, fill your heart with what you need be it concerning fear or sickness or addictions, only Christ can, can heal and restore everything. I believe you said the essential, and I would like to give, give him a round of applause. 
And I would like to, to read. It is by grace you have been saved through faith, and that is not of you, but it is the gift of God. And God wants to give a gift to all of you because it, because it is not by works so that no one can boast before God. So I want to give you an opportunity to all of you who are here in the room or at home to give you this opportunity to do what Duan did, to put your trust in Jesus, not in a religion. Duan came to Jesus and he received this gift of abundant life. And this is your evening to receive this gift the heavens are open and Jesus is here to give you this eternal life, this, this life in abundance. And you can open your heart and say, yes, Jesus, I want to receive you. Not only like my savior, but also like as my God. And I ask forgiveness for my sins. I want to follow Jesus. I want to have this life. And tonight, if you want this life in abundance, I would like to tell you, if you are here in the room, that you will lift up your hands so I can pray for you. I can see your hands. There are several hands lifted here in the room. People are turning to Christ, and I would like to talk to you as well. If you are home, I can't see your hand, but you can lift it up because God sees it. He sees your heart, and that is why tonight, if you are on Zoom as well, you can lift your hand if you want to give your life to Jesus. I see several hands lifted up. And again, God sees your hand. If you want to give your life to him, he will save you in an amazing way. And now I, would, I invite you to pray this simple prayer for you as well who are at home. Repeat this prayer out loud. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I come to you as I am. I ask forgiveness for all my sins. I regret sincerely. And tonight I want to receive your gift. This gift of eternal life that is given to me by Jesus Christ who died on the cross for my sins and my sicknesses and who, is, who, who rose again and is alive today. And with all my heart, I call upon the name of Jesus and I say, Jesus Christ, save my life. Take it. Transform it. Change it. And come in, to, come in me, fill me with you. And that you would become my only God, my only Lord, starting today and forever. By faith, I receive you. By your faith, by your grace, I receive this gift today. I receive Jesus, who is the way the truth and the life. I receive his peace. I receive his love. I receive him right now in Jesus' name. If you pray this prayer right now, I would like to to pray for this, this power of the Holy Spirit that you would experience this miracle of what of being born again, that you would become his child. 
Au nom de Jésus, je prends autorité sur toutes les I puissances. Speak this power over you. Receive it. And I take authority over all the power of the enemy. If you were in occultism, you can ask for forgiveness and say, God, I'm sorry. And the chains will fall. And the power of darkness has no more power over you. In Jesus' name, I break every curse over your life, every generational curse. And I speak the blessing of God over you, over your family, as you receive Jesus as personal Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. Amen. If you made this decision tonight, it is the best decision of your life. There is a before and there is an after. Welcome to the family of God. And let, let us give a round of applause to everyone who, who accepted Jesus tonight. Welcome to the family of God. God has so many wonderful things for each and every one of you. If you gave your life to Jesus tonight, don't hesitate to write us in the chat, tell us, express yourself however you wish, so that we can um, so that we can celebrate with you that you are part of the family of God now. It is so important what you are saying, Jeremy, that we proclaim, that we say it, that we um, tell about the, the decision that we made. If you are here in the room, um, I invite you to lift your hand if you if you accepted Jesus tonight, so so that you can receive a um, a gift from us. And we really invite you to express it in the chat. Say, I gave my life to Jesus, or I accepted Jesus, say it however you want. And so, again, for those who are here in the room, please do lift your hand so you can receive a small gift from us. If you are online, and you gave your life to Jesus, go to um, the website that will be that will appear on the screen on the screen right now, which is uh, laguerison.org. And it is important that that you would be surrounded by a community, that you read the Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, you can download it for free on the internet, on the website, bible.com. And tonight, we'll have the privilege of listening to David Terry. And before that, we have a few announcements.
voilà de retour sur ce live en présentiel, hybride, on va dire, en présentiel. We are back. Digital. Bienvenue à cette soirée miracle et guérison. Plusieurs nous ont rejoints. We welcome everyone tonight to this Miracles and Healings Night. N'hésitez pas sur la chaîne YouTube. The good news is that you can watch the whole uh, event. If you are, if you've just um, started watching us, you can watch the whole event on the internet on YouTube. And I would like to thank everyone who worked this year so that this association can accomplish its uh, vision. Our vision is to go to every nation. We, we recently traveled to Asia. There were people even from Afghanistan who were there. And we want to thank everyone who work for IAHM. There are, there are a lot of people who worked um, behind the scenes, people who translate these events. And I want to thank all the volunteers who work for IAHM. And I would like to, we would like to offer these chocolates. If there are people here who work for IAHM, if you are volunteers, if you work in any way, shape or form for, for IAHM, I invite you to, to stand up. And even if you are not here in the in the room, we would like to send these chocolates to you. And my wife is um, has a cosmetics uh, company, and we have for you who are here in the room. Some products for for him and for her. Et je le redis pour vous qui nous regardez sur le live, allez sans autre sur la And guérison. And for those of you who are at home, we invite you to go to laguérison.org slash win, where you can win um, one of these products, and we will send them to you for free wherever you are. And you can also um, win this iPad. Sans plus tarder ce soir, alors qu'il y a And there are also the books that we mentioned, the, the course. And I would like to give the floor to Jeremy. Tonight, we have David Terry with us. David Terry is the founder of the School of Supernatural Supernatural Ministry for the French-speaking world, which inspires, strains, and activates believers to exercise their spiritual gifts. He was pastor in Canada for 12 years and the author of several books. He is married to Sylvie and they have five children. They live on Re a Reunion Island, Ile de Réunion. And tonight, it is a privilege to have you with us. We are looking forward to hearing what God has put on your heart for us. Hello, wherever you are. I can't see you, I only see myself. But I think of you while I, I'm speaking. And as I was praying, I received something from God that is simple and profound. And Paul was saying that we talk about spiritual things with a spiritual language, and there are realities that are spiritual. And we might have a difficult time to understand them intellectually, but we feel them in our spirit. And I pray for that the spirit of revelation would be upon us, that we can understand these realities 
not only with our head, but also to the, to the depth of our being. I can see the chat. You can, you can write. So let us pray. Lord, we are before you and we bless you for everything that you do. You are working. People have been safe tonight. And I pray, Holy Spirit, you are a spirit of revelation. Come and reveal to us who you are so that we can receive healing. I pray that lies would be replaced with the truth. I pray that spiritual eyes would be opened, that we can know you more tonight. Open the eyes of our hearts. Amen. As I was praying, I was asking God what he wanted to tell you. There are people from all over the world who are watching us. And the, the first thing that God told me was, tell them that I love them. And it is because I love them that I want to heal them. God is eternal. He is infinite. But he, above all, he is love. And healing is a manifestation of his love. He did everything. He created the universe, but he uses his power to heal us. And we are the object of his attention, of his goodness. And he manifests his power by destroying the works of the enemy in our body, in our hearts, because he loves us. And in Romans 5, 8 says, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I want to tell you something very simple tonight. Before you were sick, Jesus has had already suffered for you that you could be healed. Jesus was thinking about you before you even pray for healing, before you even realize that you are sick before you even see the doctor jesus thought of you jesus suffered and god demonstrated this love there are people who say yeah but god but do you really think about me do you is my life important to you but no god was thinking about you and jesus suffered he was crucified for our sickness. He carried our sickness. He already proved it. And when we pray, we don't need to... We don't need to explain to God that it would be a good idea to heal us. It, is, it was his idea to start with. It was his idea to come and give his life for us. And not only that, but to also give the Holy Spirit so that his children can pray for the sick. It is his plan. And even when we uh, pray for, when we pray for other people, we don't need to convince him. It is his will. It is his desire. And as we come closer to God, there is this understanding that we, we need to come closer to him without fear. Why? Because when we are sick, we suffer. Our life quality is, is um, diminished. Maybe there is a diagnosis that says you can't work anymore, you can't have children, you will uh, die earlier. And these things limit you. When we, there is pain, there is suffering that comes, which brings the question, why? Why me? Why now? Why does it happen as I do this or that or that? And sometimes people who have a cancer, for instance, say, why me? I didn't smoke, for instance. There are people who smoke and are not sick or people who have an, an accident. Why did this happen to me while someone who drives like a maniac has nothing? We can be angry. 
about uh, lives who were who were stolen, someone who who is maybe paralyzed or something happens to someone in our family, maybe, and we can be angry and we can resent God and we can express it more or less honestly about God because we, we think, why is it that my prayers are not being answered? God, why are you taking so long to answer me? Why that person is healed and I am not? There are things that we don't understand. Why is it that this person came to church once, we, we prayed for him and got healed, and I've been serving God for so long and I'm not healed? And we can resent God. We can also have a false impression of being abandoned. We can say, God, you abandoned me. You forgot about me. I am in the hospital or I can't work anymore. I am isolated. I am stuck. God, you left me. Where are you? And our heart, when we are in this in this resentment, can be shut to the love of God. When Jesus was on earth, People could bring their heart, their friends to him, and there was a man mentioned in the Bible who was brought to Jesus by his friends. We don't know if the the person um, asked his friends to bring him to Jesus. But they could have this contact contact with Jesus because Jesus was on the earth but now he gave us he gave the holy spirit so that so that we can experience donc c'est un esprit que nous connectons avec dieu là alors que tout à l'heure j'en lui him any, anywhere we are voilà on va prier on donne des paroles tout ça et là vous êtes devant votre écran vous êtes dans la salle et vous vous the team were saying we will pray we will give words of knowledge you close your eyes and you turn your heart to God in the spirit. It's not your hand that touches God. It's in the spirit that you touch him. And we need to be set free by every lie that we have in our hearts, either knowingly or unknowingly. Because these lies shut our hearts. And we can, we can say with our mind, yes, I need to be healed. Our, our bodies can say, yes, I need to be healed. But our hearts can, can be reluctant to being closer, to coming closer to God because of these lies that we believe. But the good news is that the Holy Spirit, who is a spirit of truth, is coming to replace these lies that are in your heart by the truth. God wants to guide you. In John 8, 32, reads, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. What does that mean? It means that the lies that we believe, either because we have them knowingly in our in our heads, such as, oh, God doesn't think about me anymore. Sometimes people say that, oh, God abandoned me or he doesn't heal anymore. But sometimes it's more subtle in that we believe, we sing, we say, yes, you are the God of miracles. We can sing with our head, but in our hearts, we say, that's for other people, but not for me. Maybe I deserve to be sick. Or maybe I'm like Job. Yeah, I'm like Job. Although the Bible encourages us to, to look at his testimony. And so the purpose of reading the story of Job is to read the end and how, how God worked. And in the end, despite everything that he lost, despite sickness and the oppression and lack and poverty, God helped him. He rescued him. 
on voit même plus parler de, de Satan à la fin de l'histoire. Dieu arrive dans l'histoire, dans l'histoire de Job. Dieu se révèle à Job, il le relève. Au début, les ennemis semblaient puissants dans cette histoire, mais au final, nous ne le voyons même plus. Dieu restaure Job, il le blesse, il lui donne des fils et des filles. He gives him more than enough. God is not a God who takes pleasure in seeing people suffer. He's the one who, who comes to rescue Job. He didn't take pleasure in seeing him suffer. God sets the captives free. He gives the sight back to blind people. He restores joy to, to hearts. Sometimes we can say, oh, I'm not worthy, I don't feel worthy, I sinned. Maybe you are saying, I don't deserve to be healed because there are people who deserve more than me. And there, these are things that, we, that I see regularly. There are people who say, well, it's better if God takes care of people who are dying. But me, my sickness is not very important to God. So we can have these thoughts in our heads or in our hearts and we and not be aware of them. That is, we come close to God, we participate in meetings like this one, we praise, we pray, we want healing. But in our hearts, there's like a resistance And it's as, as though we, we, were, we would sabotage our prayers. And the good news tonight is that the Holy Spirit wants to set you free from these lies. He wants to liberate you that are maybe subtle in your heart. He wants to put them in the light and set you free. Sometimes when we pray, there are things that we are healed of instantaneously. For instance, there, there were words of words that were given tonight, and I also bless the interpreters. I bless you because I'm, I'm speaking a bit fast. But there are people who are, uh, who are touched and healed. And sometimes even people who watch, not necessarily live, but who watch the event, the video, months later, And there are people who write and say, I have no more skin problems, no more ear problems, my, my body is better, my, a lot of, a lot of uh, testimonies of healing. But sometimes we need to collaborate with God. That means that the sickness can have several sources, several origins. Sometimes it can be an accident. Sometimes it can be a, a spiritual cause. Jean-Luc was talking about um, curses. Sometimes it can be a, an emotional issue. And at times we are so stressed that we have, we, we become sick and we need to experience the peace of God so that we can be healed. And sometimes we... I would like to share with you. I have a, a friend whose husband had thyroid pro problems. He was taking medication. He was, but he would feel tired. They had prayed. And he was still sick. And in this situation, one can feel discouraged. And I was with, um, with my wife and we prayed for this person. And we believed that God is good and that he wants to heal. And if there is a blockage, there is any, if there is anything blocking, it's not on God's part. And there, this is something that you need to understand. If there's anything that blocks our prayer, it's not God who says, no, it's not the moment, you can come back tomorrow. He doesn't say, well, there are no more miracles for today, you need to come back next week. He doesn't say, no, I don't feel like healing you. That doesn't happen. What happens is that God is on our side, but he, he wants to fight with us. He wants us to collaborate with him.
remporter la victoire contre la maladie parce que la maladie est le team de Dieu and to, to have a victory together. La mort et la maladie sont l'ennemi de Dieu. And death and sickness is an enemy of God. Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait On a dit bah Saint Esprit. But God is on our side. Qu'est-ce qui bloque So we ask the Holy Spirit, what is the problem? What is blocking this healing? And my wife had this thought. Did you, did you make a... Um... Parce que le Saint-Esprit, c'est tout. Il, il, il est omniscient, il connaît votre cœur, il connaît toute votre vie, toutes vos pensées, même les pensées que vous avez oubliées. Vous vous souvenez plus que vous avez fait, même les choses qui se sont passées dans le vote de votre cœur. Le Saint-Esprit connaît toutes vos pensées. Et il dit, Seigneur, il connaît tout. Et donc la question était, did you make a, did you swear that you would do something? Elle a eu un flash et elle s'est souvenu que quand elle était petite, si je promets quelque chose qui n'était pas de vous, And she remembered, this person remembered that um, she had problems with her mom, this, this woman. And she said, she, she said, my mom never takes care of me, but if I, if I were really sick, if I had a a serious sickness, I believe my mom, my mom would take care of me. And she forgot completely of what she said when she was a child, but, but the Holy Spirit didn't forget. And when she said that, the Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue. And so when she pronounced that, it's like she spoke a, a curse over her and the enemy used those words to attack her. And this person told us what the Holy Spirit revealed to her, and she renounced those words. She, she repented, she renounced them, we prayed for her. And now she's completely healed, and Jesus, Jesus touched her, and she has no more thyroid problems. Why do I say that? Because Jesus is on our side. He wants to collaborate with us. As we pray for the sick, and I know that um, IHM also wants to equip people to pray for others. There are a lot of, of books on this topic, a lot of courses, and it's so wonderful what you are doing. The purpose is to equip the body of Christ to pray. But do we understand that God is for us? And if we rely on the goodness of God and on his will to heal us, we will see more healings. Because if we approach God, and I, I, that's what I would do in the past, et nous, notre rôle dans la prière, c'est qu'on vient et euh, on vient essayer de se battre contre Dieu, on essaie de l'apitoyer, on essaie de le convaincre. Je pense que Dieu a une healing dans ses armes, mais il ne veut pas nous laisser nous laisser. Et quand nous prions, nous essayons de le convaincre et de le convaincre de le convaincre de le laisser nous healing, mais ce n'est pas vrai. Jésus a déjà souffert pour nous, il a déjà donné nous tout, il a déjà accompli tout. Et, bien, au lieu de la and when we understand that it is God's will, that he is there, instead of informing him, God already knows, he already has compassion, he already gave Jesus, we can say, okay, God, I know that Jesus paid everything, I know that you want to heal me, but how do you want to accomplish this healing? Do I need to just praise you and sing? In the presence of God, we can be healed. There are people who get healed just by worshiping. Do I need to take the supper? Do I need to just fix my eyes on Jesus? I remember uh, during worship, I remember the testimony. We were having communion in my uh, church in Quebec. And I, there was this verse that just as Moses uh, lifted the, um, the serpent in the wilderness, Jesus also needs to be to be lifted. And that is an episode in the book of Numbers 
when the Israelites were in the desert and they complained a lot against God because they weren't happy about being in the desert and there were snakes who would uh, bite the people and people would die because of that. And so God told Moses and Aaron, Aaron to, to form a, a serpent and lift it high and everyone who was bitten by snakes and we and would simply watch would be healed. And I shared this text and I said, let's take a time of silence and let's just watch Jesus. Let's just contemplate in the spirit the fact that on the cross he paid everything and there was silence and I, understood, I heard a noise in the room. Et en fait, son histoire, c'est que ça faisait deux ans. A young man of around 20 years old. Il n'était plus capable de soulever ne serait-ce qu'un pichet d'eau. Il prenait jusqu'à 30 médicaments par jour et les médicaments ne faisaient rien. Les médecins ne comprenaient pas ce qu'il avait. He was, he had been sick. And he was taking a lot of medication every day. And he was fixing his eye, his eyes on Jesus. Et donc il faisait des pompes pour tester. And the power of God came in his body. Il avait été guéri. Donc le Seigneur peut vous guider. Et il was dire, testing to see if he was healed and he got completely healed. And maybe you will need to do a prophetic act. Maybe you will need to renounce something that you did in the past. Maybe you you'll need to throw out an object that you have in your house. And the Holy Spirit will guide you. He will tell you. Maybe you proclaimed. Maybe you will need to. Um, lay hands on yourself. Maybe you will need to proclaim the, um, a verse out loud. Maybe you will need to pray re uh, regularly. For instance, when you brush your teeth, you will curse the sickness. And maybe it will be it will be gone in two weeks. I don't know what the strat strategy is, but God will guide you. And I would like to take a time of silence, but not for for void, but to concentrate on the Holy Spirit. And I would like to pray for you now, so that God will open your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears. I will pray for you, so that you can experience the fact, the fact that God speaks to you. There were people who spoke earlier and said that they have a vision, they have a word from God. Jean-Luc was saying, uh, gave a word of knowledge for someone. It's not a coincidence. They can feel it in their body. They can have a vision or a thought that comes to their spirit. But that is available for everyone. The fact that God speaks to us. And many of you gave your life to Jesus. And we will ask him to speak to you. Maybe just like the person that we were talking about uh, that had thyroid problems, maybe you, you cursed yourself, maybe you practiced occultism, maybe you saw um, a witch, you went to a witch or a or things of that kind. But God is there for you and he will guide you. So I invite you to close your eyes and I will pray for you and then we will ask Jesus a question and we will keep a moment of silence, 30 seconds and maybe there will be images or thoughts that will come to your mind. And that we will pray about what he will show you. Maybe you've never done this before. Maybe you think it's strange. C'est encore plus de valeur. C'est vraiment très puissant. Alors on va prier maintenant. Seigneur, je prie maintenant. What I say is good, but what the Holy Spirit will tell you is even more powerful. So let us pray. Lord, I pray right now because you are here 
you are here, Holy Spirit. And I pray that spiritual eyes would be open and spiritual ears would be open. That every person who needs healing, we will ask this question to Jesus. I invite you to, to repeat it in your heart. Jesus, I come to you. What lie am I believing about you concerning my healing? Focus on Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Plusieurs, je sais que le Seigneur est en train de vous parler là maintenant. Maintenant, si le Seigneur vous a révélé un mensonge que vous croyez, I know that God is speaking to several of you right now. Alors on va lui dire, Seigneur, quelle est la vérité que tu veux que je croie? And if he revealed a lie that you were believing, it's because he wants to, to tell you the truth. So ask him, God, what is the truth that you want me to know, that you want me to believe? Et on va prier maintenant. Seigneur, je renonce à ce mensonge. Peut-être que je me sens indigne, ou que c'est de ma faute, ou que tu t'intéresses pas à moi, ou que, que tu, tu m'as oublié. We'll pray now, Lord, I, I renounce this, this lie, be it that I'm not worthy, or that you forgot about me, or that you don't care, and I choose to believe your truth. Et maintenant que je suis libre de ce mensonge, I draw near to you now. And now that I'm free from this lie, I come to touch you, Jesus. I expect your kindness and the manifestation of your love from me in my body. I would like to invite you to smile. Smile because God is for you. And in the Spirit, Come close to him. The Bible says that he comes and he has healing in his wings. So healing in he is in his arms. So we need to come in his arms to come near to near him. He, healing is is near to us, is near us. And Lord, right now, as your children draw near you. Je relâche ta bonté. I liberate this, and this healing anointing that flows from your throne of grace. I release your goodness. Thank you because pain is leaving. Thank you for every organ that is being restored. Thank you that organs are being healed and restored. We come to touch you, Jesus. And I speak your peace. I speak your blessing. Ceux qui ont un problème au niveau de la thyroïde, et j'appelle des thyroïdes neuves maintenant. Que ceux qui ont des nodules au niveau de la thyroïde, que les nodules disparaissent. Au nom de Jésus, je bénis ce que tu fais. Je te donne toute Every la gloire. Problem will disappear in Jesus name. Je bénis aussi tous les gens qui ont des problèmes de cœur. I bless what you are doing and I give you all the glory. Les choses qu'ils ont vécu. I bless every, everyone who has hard problems that can be related to a, to a trauma or things they have lived. I bless hearts and I speak blessing. I speak peace over them. I speak I speak the end of hard problems. Thank you, Lord. Je crois qu'on va continuer là de 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 prier là, vu que je, je crois que je laisse la Thank parole à, à Jean-Luc, je crois, ou à, à quelqu'un. Um, on va continuer de prier pour d'autres sujets. I think we will keep praying and I'll, I'll give the floor to Jean-Luc. Je viens dans tes bras. We will keep praying, but I invite you to stay in this attitude of 
of saying, Jesus, I draw near to you. I draw near your love. I come into your arms and I let you guide me. Vous êtes en live pour cette soirée miracle et guérison. The presence of the Lord is here and you're online for miracles, healing. It is real. Jesus is healing you right now. As uh, David has shared this extraordinary message, you can have it, you can watch it again on YouTube and you can... Um, Enroll so as to get also the messages of uh, IAHM. There is the river, healing river, that we will plunge ourselves into. It's not necessary uh, to wait for a word of knowledge, but just let the presence of the Lord touch you. It is important to share your testimonies as well. I would like to share, as we're in this anointing, there are three testimonies of healing that God has just performed. It's recent. It's not 10 years ago. It's very recent. I just want to thank all those who are writing to us to share their testimonies. It's very important as you share your testimony. It is God who is glorified. He receives the glory. And the fact that you share your testimony will encourage others and help them to receive the faith for their miracle. Uh, as we had the meeting of healing and miracles in Paris, there was uh, there's this testimony. We were at the Basilica Saint Andre of Europe. We even had to go into a second evening of healing and miracles. A, a girl came right at the very beginning in a wheelchair. If we can watch the images, it will be wonderful. It's this little girl in a wheelchair. It's the right photo, but it's not in the church. This is a photo received from the parents. We prayed for this young girl, and the presence of the Lord came upon her. She wasn't immediately touched, but a few days later, I was on the plane. We were going to land in Dubai, and I opened uh, WhatsApp. We hadn't landed yet, and I received this photo that you can see on the screen. The little girl came out of a wheelchair. This is the power of God. Another testimony that I would like to read that I received and that you can also follow on social media. I try every week to put at least three or four testimonies online of what God has done all over the world. On a du bruit qui je suis désolé me perturbe c'est pas grave. We have this sound that uh, destabilized me a little. This is the testimony. It's someone who wrote. It's extraordinary. Thank you for all those who share their testimonies. I just want to find the text in French. I always try to have the text in uh, English and French, but I can't find it. So I'll share it another time. It's extraordinary. I'll try to translate. It's someone called Cody. It's wonderful what happened. This person was born with Hydra and hydroencephaly so there was the absence of uh, part of the hemispheres of the brain and the parts of the skeleton were swollen i should have translated this i thought it was already translated and according to the doctors this child could not survive and through one of these evenings, the power of the Lord came upon this child supernaturally, and we just received the testimony. Now this young man is 18 years old. Science cannot explain it. Doctors cannot explain it. And there are many documents that we can show. This is the young man. He is in good health, and we just give God the glory for what he has done. And I will conclude with this last testimony. We were in Uzbekistan just a few days ago and there was the power of God at work. We saw Jesus heal. There were many people who were deaf from birth who, whose ears opened up 
there was someone who was blind and part of the left eye was absent and the other side was covered with a white veil this person could not see it was impossible as david shared god works in various ways during the three days of the conference we all prayed for this person at the last hour this person came in faith expecting god to move and it is right at that moment when this person had to get on the bus that the eye was recreated by the power of god the eyeball and this kind of flesh from the right eye was pushed away and the person started giving god the glory because the person could see and then i'll show you this young child he was deaf from birth and as we laid hands on him and that can happen to you tonight as we laid hands on this child his ears opened up and he could hear for the first time in his life and i just invite you right where you are lift up your hands and receive this you who are at home open up yourself to the power of god i don't know if david can still hear us or if uh, we're still in connection with him I can't see him on the screen, but I, uh, we would like for you to participate in the healing river. And we pray now in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, that you heal the sick, heal those who are on YouTube, heal those who are on the Zoom session, those who are in this hall. I ask you to touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Marie-Laure, what is the Lord showing you? You have things that you've been uh, seeing also on social media. Amen. 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 There's the presence of the Lord right here in this hall and also on social media. I see the gentle nature of God just invading you now. I saw the Lord touching the thoughts. If it concerns you, just place your hand on your head. This week you had you had thoughts about death you thought that you're you're going crazy and that you'll never make it and god is releasing you god is releasing you from this in the name of jesus maybe you're in the hall or on the zoom session if it concerns you just put your hand on your head right now as trade right now the lord is touching you Madeleine, I see you. Karin, the Lord is touching you. Lise, the Lord is touching you. Ségolène, Claire, the Lord is touching you right now. Gwendoline as well, the Lord is touching you right now. Amen. Just receive this presence of the Holy Spirit. Stanley, the Lord is touching you. He's touching your daughter as well. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. You are the God of miracles. You're the God of miracles. And you're restoring that which was broken. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your peace that is perfect. Thank you because you're coming to deliver us this evening. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. I was also seeing people who had uh, problems with hearing. I just invite you to lay your hands on your ears. I see the name Edith. Maybe there's Edith in this hall or who's watching online or on the Zoom session. You have a problem with the left ear. You can just lay your hand on the left ear. And I pray, Holy Spirit, please touch everyone for healing 100%. I Pray that these people can hear completely well, healing completely on the left ear of Edith. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you're here and you like talking to us. You're speaking to our hearts. You also like it when we hear you. God is touching ears this evening. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I see that God is replacing things tonight. As David said, God is not someone who is coming to just teach us, teach us through disease, but he comes to touch us with his life, with healing. And this evening, where there was death, God is bringing life. Where there was depression, God is bringing hope. 
when you feel sad, God brings comfort, consolation. We're in the period of Advent, and I received this, that we're in the time of Advent. It's the time of consolation, of comfort, and God is comforting someone. God is coming into family situations. There are many people who wrote on the chat asking for prayers for their families. Their families are divided. They're broken families, and God is coming with his his restoration, consolation, and reconciliation in families. That's who he is. And I pray for all the families that need this consolation, that need this restoration. Thank you, because Holy Spirit, you're coming and you're touching the hearts. You're touching the people, people who have moved away. And I pray that you unite families now, Holy Spirit. Amen. I just invite you to lift up your hands where you are in this hall at home. Let's just, just welcome this healing presence of Jesus that he comes and just touches you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for Cochin, be healed of this fibromyalgia in the name of Jesus. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, be healed of diabetes. Jacqueline, who is asking for healing for his father who has a heart problem. Oh, touch the daddy. I pray for Gilles, who is suffering in his spinal cord after the accident. I release the power of God on you, Gilles, in the name of Jesus. I pray for Celia, who has this torn um, uh, calf. Oh, let there be a miracle for Lord, who is suffering from hypertension. Be healed, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus for Leila, for this pain, abdominal pain for four years, let it leave you now in the name of Jesus. Many people have written saying that they're suffering from COVID, like Erwin, in the name of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, there is healing from every virus, including COVID-19. Those who are in hospitals, we command this illness, this sickness to die. Let the sickness leave you in the name of Jesus. Let life touch Colette, who is asking for healing for his son, who has tetraplegia. We're praying for Anne Sophie, who is suffering from cancer, incurable cancer. Jeremy, would you like to pray? There are many people who are suffering from cancer. Pray that the power of God heals those who are in this hall, but also those who are on Zoom, on YouTube. Amen. Yes, I just grasp this victory of Christ on the cross. I declare it on bodies, on lives. I declare now healing in your bodies, healing the victory of Christ on cancer. In the name of Jesus, we curse this disease. We declare the blessing and life of God on your bodies now. That all be restored from the top of your heads to the soles of your feet. That the Holy Spirit comes and restores your entire bodies now in the mighty name of Jesus. The many testimonies on healing in children. I think there's something specific about children that is being released. The two prayer requests that have been sent that really moved me. These children who are suffering from sickness, Valia, who is 23 months old and who has leukemia. And I declare now healing on Valia in the name of Jesus. We declare healing on these children in the name of Jesus. I pray for Agat, who is who was born on 17th of November, who might lose her eye. I declare restoration on her eye now in the name of Jesus on all these children who are suffering from sicknesses, who are in the hospital instead of being elsewhere playing with their, their friends, their parents. I just declare in the spirit of Christmas, healing over these children in the name of Jesus. Come and restore, come and operate miracles today as it was said today. And with testimonies, this young girl who came out of the wheelchair, this young man who is now 18, he had an incurable disease. He's completely healed. This child who was deaf from birth and who has been healed. Now I declare the testimony on these children, healing on Agat, healing on Valia in the name of Jesus right now. We pray for Sandra who has cervical problems and also shoulder problems. Let there be life in the name of Jesus. Sandra be healed right now. We pray for Chantal who is asking for healing. 
floating bodies in her eyes. There's been a lot of healing with uh, black spots in the eyes. It is not by might nor by power, but by the Holy Spirit in this hall, on the Zoom session, on YouTube. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I pray for Jacqueline that your two knees be healed. Joannit Vincent, I release the power of God for the wounds on the left breast be healed, restored in the name of Jesus. Louis, that your eyes be healed, that asthma leaves your body in the name of Jesus. I pray for the son of Simon who has schizophrenia. Oh God, touch all those who have uh, psychiatric diseases. Oh, we pray for Monique for dysfunctioning of the genital genital urinary apparatus let there be restoration now in the name of jesus jerome what is the lord showing you something that seemed important for this evening it's concerning suicide we've spoken about thoughts of death suicidal thoughts and now i i believe the holy spirit is touching each person having suicidal thoughts the Lord is bringing the anointing of peace, of life in your lives, in your homes. Don't let your thoughts be held captive by death and by sickness. Turn towards the spirit of joy and receive this joy in your houses. And I believe also that God wants to release through dreams, I, I, to, to bring back the dreams of people to life. People have had dreams that were broken by the enemy. The Lord is bringing back to life these dreams. Someone who was hoping to have a, a boat on the sea, some pro someone who lives near the sea, it's not just for a lake. And God is giving you the opportunity to get this boat. You have that project, you have that dream, and it will be manifested now it is from the Lord receive this healing that God will restore your dreams this evening there's generosity we want to offer free of charge taken beyond your dreams in French you in this hall you who need that the Lord should restore bring to life those dreams you can lift up your hands and we will distribute these books to you if you're home Go to the webpage healing-ministries.org forward slash win. You can enroll and we can send the book to you. You can participate in other things. Jérôme also as concerns dreams. There's a couple that wants to have children. Maybe they're online or in the hall. They have problems. They've not been able to have children. God is bringing life and peace and solutions. And I really believe that God is touching these couples. If you're in the hall, you can just indicate. Uh, we want to pray with you so that the peace of God will manifest. The members of the prayer teams who can come towards you to pray with you. Also in the spirit of generosity, is there anyone here born on December 13th? Is there anybody for whom December 13th is important? 54, Guy Werner. Can we put up the, the, the image? All right. The Lord is showing me an image of a tree trunk that has these little circles that are growing on the inside with age. I just feel like in your life, there was a year where in which there was a lot of growth and with a lot of wood. But the Lord is saying it's not a promise for one evening, for one year. I, I believe that through this event, there was great growth. God wants to do it again in your life, even in, in bigger dimensions and better. I believe that God is really putting more of the tree bark around this trunk. God has brought promises into your lives, but they've not yet grown. And I believe it's about to manifest. They're going to grow and manifest something miraculously. And we rejoice to hear your testimony. 
Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. You don't need to wait for a specific word. Is David still online? Could we have David again? He surely has something on his heart, maybe to pray generally for those who are sick, as he teaches so well in his book. And I really encourage you to buy the book, or if you want to receive it, go to healing-ministries.org forward slash win, not just for this evening, also for the following days, healing the sick in French. David, can you hear us? Yes, yes, I'm right here. Tell us what the Lord has told you and pray for the sick. Yes, I really had it on my heart to pray concerning sterility. I received the testimony of a couple that had been infertile for 15 years and they read the book and they started praying. Uh, it was the sister-in-law and three months later, they had the lady got pregnant and they had a baby. I want to pray for couples that have fertility problems and you can't have children. The Bible says God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, also the God of Sarah, Sarah who was sterile of Rebecca, who was sterile of Rachel, who was sterile. And God gave to each one of them a child, a children. I pray specifically for healing right now for all the reproductive organs for for the uterus, for the ovaries, for the fallopian tubes. I pray for the sperms and pr sperm production, the testicles, all hormonal systems. I pray for emotional healing in couples because of the weight of the burden of not having children, that there be joy restored. And I call these children to life. I call them forth in the name of Jesus. I pray now for healing, psychological healing, emotional healing if there have been miscarriages lord that there be revelation that they will see these children again in your presence lord we pray right now that the enemy no more steals children we break the curses over people people who are under curses who have inherited maybe from their ancestors or maybe witchcraft has been performed against them their countries where people sometimes to have protection they give them all kinds of fetishes and they can't have children after that i break these things in the name of jesus i declare freedom and i call forth your blessing i pray lord as you granted the request of isaac who was praying for rebecca and she had children she had twins i call forth your blessing and i say lord make this sterile woman a mother of many children a joyful mother i pray also for people with neck problems the cervical vertebrae, maybe hernia or fractures. Lord, touch that region now. This neck region may be a heaviness, but it's leaving you right now in the name of Jesus. And there is a freedom that is found again in movement. Pain is leaving you. It was also causing migraine and pain, headaches. And I we, we command for these headaches to go and we declare peace over the brain, over the, the head in the name of Jesus. Knee problems, maybe cartilage that is missing, ligaments, tendons, they're healed, restored now in the name of Jesus. And I remember I was in a meeting and there was someone who had difficulty standing up. We prayed for their knees and the next time the person told us that uh, she could go biking god is restoring the cartilage your knees and i command every spirit of arthrosis to leave knees right now in the name of jesus i bless also the ankles i also saw that there were problems with the right ankle god is restoring your your ankle so you can walk so you can run so you can dance in his presence in the name of jesus there's something concerning the thumb the thumb of the right hand may be linked to an accident you had an accident and there's pain, there's sequelae, traces from this accident and you can't really handle things well, you can't work well using the right hand. The pain is going, the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons are being restored and mobility is being restored. And general prayer, no matter what 
problem you have in your body, whether you're online, whether you watch it later, whether you're in the hall, no matter the country, if you have problems on, in your head, wherever you have a problem, lay your hand on your head and we release the power of the Holy Ghost that brought Jesus back to life, the power of the resurrection to come into your bodies. We command all these infirmities to leave the bodies, all spirits of affliction, you leave the bodies, all weapons forged against your children be broken that it cannot accomplish that for which it was sent in the name of Jesus. I declare life, I declare health. And as you brought my own child back to life after 25 minutes of cardiorespiratory arrest, I call back to life all the bodily organs, whether it's neurons, whether it's the kidneys, whether it's the lungs, cells in different parts of the of the body, in the pancreas, I call back these organs to life. I declare you are the God of life in your presence, Lord, as the, the, the stick of Aaron budded and brought forth uh, fruit and a flower. There's life coming back in the name of Jesus. Let us lift up the name of our God. Let us glory, bring, give him glory for what he's doing. For those who have just joined us, it is our healing and miracles evening. God is moving and he's touching people all over the world, whether it's physically here at Oron La Ville or online, we're, we'll, we're gently moving towards the end. But I believe that God wants to touch you. God wants to visit you. Simply receive right now this life as we take this wonderful, wonderful song, the name of Jesus, which is above every sickness. For those in the hall, if you want someone to lay hands on you and pray for you, you can just stand up. We'll lay hands on the sick as it is written in the Bible and the sick will be healed. On the Zoom session, the hand of the Lord is not too short to touch you right where you are, here and on YouTube. And that's why we are singing together. Let us go forth and just lay hands on the sick. The sick will be healed. And the Word of God tells us that, and I release this life on you on the Zoom session. And Sophia and Brice, let the hand of God touch you, Madeleine and Karine. Let your hand, oh Lord, just stretch out your hand and touch and heal Angèle, Eliane Paul of Guadeloupe. Oh, living God, touch Werner. Touch Fatita, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing of life on Astrid and Jean-Philippe, that your life be upon them, oh Lord. Oh, just invade them with your glory. We pray, oh Lord, for Ségolène. Touch Yolande. Touch Sandrine Renault. We pray for Merton Dorfer. Paulette Cocolo, oh Lord, let your glory come on the Zoom session on YouTube and in this hall. It is for this that we sing praises to this wonderful Savior, to the Lord Jesus. Be healed right now. Let life be. Let there be life in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch Christian. Heal his, his wrist, Josiane. Be healed of this genetic disease. We pray, Lord. Heal Stephanie of COVID. Touch her entire family in the name of Jesus Christ. The life of God is here. Receive this healing right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Let us sing unto the Lord. Le nom de Jésus Christ, mon roi. Ce nom si merveilleux. The name of Jesus. Ce nom si merveilleux. Le nom de Jésus. Tous ensemble avec les instruments. Together with the instruments. Receive this life. In the name of Jesus, the most beautiful name, the most extraordinary name, let there be life in your organs, in your bones, in your brain. I break every form of depression and sadness, and I release the joy of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If the Lord has touched you in this hall, on the Zoom session, you can just wave to indicate that God has touched you. If you feel, if you perceive that the Lord is moving on you or has healed you or is healing you, just wave like this. Many people are saying it. And if you're on YouTube, you can just write your testimony just say what the Lord is doing in your life. We give Jesus the glory. Can we put our hands together for Jesus and Jesus Christ alone? And on, on the chat, you can write glory to Jesus. Write, thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to close this evening by praying for the effusion of the Holy Spirit, for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in the last days, there will be an outpouring of the Holy Spirit on all flesh. And I believe that this evening, that's how we will close, where the Holy Spirit will come in a new and fresh way. But also the Holy Spirit, he's coming with his gifts and his the, the gift of speaking in tongues, of prophecy, words of wisdom, words of uh, the gifts of miracles, words of knowledge. But before we do that, just you may take your seat. We just want to do something. It's a, an evening of generosity. You can simply go to healing-ministries.org forward slash win and you fill in and enroll fill in your details and we could send this book of David Terry. We could send you this book and also online training. All that is right here on the table underneath and behind, we could send it to you home. For those who are here online live, there will be the, the first third will be sent to you if you enroll, and the other third will be sent over the next few weeks until the 22nd of January. It will be possible because that's when we will have our next healing and miracles and healings evening. And you can have one of these good things and the chocolate boxes. Another possibility is to receive this iPad a new iPad that is fresh with the download so that you can have access to training and different books in the digital version. Even it's valid also for those who are present. Before we pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, I also have it on my heart to think about those who are living in poverty. We're living in situations that are not easy. There are many people, even in Switzerland, who cannot find food. And this evening, we wanted to do this. We would like to have bags and cartons of food for those who would like to celebrate Christmas with dignity in their families. And we thought instead of doing that, then we could work with this work that is going on in Oran La Ville. That is called Alors on Ted, meaning so we help you. I call on the president of this association who was taking care of uh, the prayer line. We'll just call on Rachel. Rachel, there was a birthday celebration that was canceled. I was told that he is right here. So for those who are in need, especially for those in Oran La Ville or in the region, you can get in touch with this association. And that is the reason why we had on our hearts in the name of IAHM and Jean-Luc Traxel Ministries to give this association a check of 2,000 Swiss francs so that you can go and benefit from it. I give you, Achelle, in your green basket. So for about 140 persons every Monday afternoon, we distribute about 200 baskets like this one. Thank you so much. It's extraordinary. I just want to say in the name of IAHM and the Gospel Center that 
we're really moved by this. It's important to preach the gospel, heal, pray for healing, but also to take care of those who are poor, who are in difficult situations. And that's what sometimes we do. We to fill up a caddy. The, the, there's, there's been over the years that my wife has been offering the caddy that is just behind her. Thank you so much for what you've been doing over the years. For those who want to get in touch with you, what do they do? There's a website, www.alorontede.ch. Every Monday afternoon, we distribute to several people, and we have uh, people who come and help us out. And we receive all these people who come and work with us free of charge, and they help us in the distribution of food to many people. If you need help, please don't hesitate to get in touch with the association. I will give the floor to Marie-Laure before the song. And we believe that when there's the laying on of hands, there is a release of the gifts. For you who are not physically here, we'll do it in the spirit. We believe that God is with you and he'll give you the spiritual gifts. And you who are present, you can just come ahead. Jeremy, I don't know if you can organize that. We do maybe a tunnel or... Uh, yeah, after the sharing with Marie-Laure, and you can just come forward and we'll release this over you and finish with this song, Minuit Chrétien, the Christian Midnight. And we believe that the power of God will touch you. First of all, Marie-Laure will share something with us. Are you still there? I pray that my voice will come back in the name of Jesus. We're going through an extraordinary evening for those who are joining us maybe just now. We've experienced generosity this night. It's still with the, the gifts and you can still enroll for the gifts. There are many gifts and also the iPad that could be distributed in January. There'll be a draw on the 22nd of January. If you've not yet enrolled, do it now. And now we'll have a time of offering. Let us put to practice generosity with our money, with our finances. So maybe you're asking why should we exercise this generosity? Why is it important before the Lord? Why should we do this? I would give you tonight a logical reason. We've received gifts. In this period of uh, the feast of the end of the year, we'll buy gifts, we'll offer gifts. It's wonderful. And I have nothing against that. But I would like to say just one thing. That is not what will satisfy you. You, you won't necessarily get fulfillment from that. The only one who can really fill you up is God, his presence in your life. The human being was created with a space in his life, in his being, and that space is specially prepared for God and only God can fill it. And we can just spend our lives trying to find fulfillment in different ways. We can try with money, with clothes, with material things. But that is not something that will last over time. The only one who can last over time is God, his presence in your life. Only Jesus can fill that void on the inside. And once you understand this, the joy, it's at that point that you will feel the joy in giving. Yes, there's more joy in giving than receiving. Because once you have this fulfillment, then you become generous. Then generosity becomes logical once we have this fulfillment and we are filled by the Lord. And I would like to take a text from the Bible. That is what the Lord showed me as I was preparing this message. It's in Luke chapter 15, the prodigal son. We can have various interpretations. I'll do it in a certain way. Maybe you have, uh, you know the story. It's the story of a father with two sons. And the youngest son asked for 
his inheritance so he could go out with the inheritance and he spent it all over. We'll start from verse 11. Jesus continued, there was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. After he had spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. I'll go, I'll skip. Then he started to think within himself that all his father's servants have all they need to eat and even more. I'll go back to my father and I will say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. And then I'll skip again. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, and the father said to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate in joy. And that's how I would like to interpret this text. His younger son asked for his inheritance with when he was with his father he was he had this fulfillment we are created to stay in the presence of the father but this young younger son said no i will take my inheritance and i will go away because i will be i, I think i'll be happy that way many of us have done that he took his inheritance went away and when he realized that he wasn't going to have fulfillment through money when he realized that he said i'll go back to my father he said, but I'm done with. But then he said, I will go to be a servant in my father's house. He went to his father's house and his father, seeing, seeing him from afar, received him, gave everything because he was happy to have his son back at home. God created us so that we should be with him and he is saddened when we move away from him we should know that god has fulfillment fullness of joy when we are with him he's a god of love and he's sad when his children move away from him when the son chooses to come back then he says i can give abundantly with generosity that's what i want to say when we are we have fulfillment then we can be generous amen Amen. Amen. So when we are fulfillment, material things, money, look so, it, they all look so small besides what God gives us. Let us remember this. I just invite you to remember this, that it's God who just satisfies our souls and feels, provides for the needs, our, the deep needs of our hearts. So as we take this offering this evening, who feels that fulfillment that comes from the Lord this evening? Amen. God is good. We can put our hands together for the Lord. Let us appreciate the Lord. Gratitude for what he is doing. So we'll have a time of offering. I just invite you to be generous because as children of God, we are living in this fulfillment this is a movement that wants to continue to preach the good news. We want to continue with these evenings, not only physically, but also online on the Zoom sessions in different places in Europe. We have these evenings, we pray for the sick, and we have seen hundreds and hundreds of people who've been healed. And I would just now... I would like to pray for the offering. You'll have the information on the screen thank you for your generosity i would like to pray now thank you lord jesus for your generosity you feel us and you satisfy our souls you make us come alive you bring fulfillment in our lives thank you because we have all in you all blessings in you in your name lord and as we take this time you're speaking to our hearts and we're 
still looking for about 150 partners who are ready to give regularly. And if you're the one, I invite you to do it. Also through the Zoom session, the YouTube, those watching us online. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you for your peace and your grace that is go coming with us every day, going along with us. We have all in you and we can give generously because that is who we are. Amen. So now we will listen to this song together with the worship team. We rejoice for the next part. Thank you for everyone for your generosity. There's more joy in giving than receiving. This evening, let us exercise, practice generosity. And we will close this evening with this song, Minuit Chrétien, the Christian Midnight. We will, I just, we pray that the Holy Spirit comes upon you and gives you gifts. We'll see if David is still there to give you a last word. David, are you still there? Yes, I'm right here. David, you wrote this book on the Holy Spirit. What are you telling people this evening so that they receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and they receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit? God wants to fill you with his Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person who wants to fill you with his love. So don't be afraid of the Holy Spirit. He's the Spirit of Jesus. Don't be afraid to speak in tongues. Because when we speak in tongues, we, we speak wonders before the Lord. It is... It is the mysteries of God. We don't have to deserve it or do exploits before we receive. The Holy Spirit is right there. If you say, yes, I have problems. Yes, you need the Holy Spirit because that's why he's there. He edifies us. He strengthens us. He helps us in building our faith. God wants to touch, to touch you. Just surrender, open your hearts. And he promised that rivers of living water will flow from your heart, from your belly. Thank you, David, for these wonderful words, for joining us tonight. We love you so much. We appreciate your ministry. And for everyone here, everyone following, go to the website of David. And if you go on the biography on YouTube, you can also download free of charge certain things and get connected with David Terry. As I said, we'll pray now for the Holy Spirit. I'll give you an example. There are 10 lessons. It will give you access to the school the training program for power and prophecy. It's about 169 francs for these lessons, and it would allow for you to grow in your relationship with the Lord. Who wants to receive this? Come quickly. Come quickly, come up quickly. The ten, first 10 persons will receive this. Jeremy will distribute to the first 10 persons who will come up. In Switzerland, we take some time to get up and then, and then it goes very fast. Now it's the same thing for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Just simply lift up your hands and just in expectation for what the Lord will do, just seize the opportunity for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and for spiritual gifts. For those who are physically here, please, the members of the prayer team, you can come forward quickly and as we start the song for those who want to have prayer you can just come and come towards the the members of the prayer team you can go through this tunnel or i don't know how you call it or on this hedge of honor through this hedge of honor we'll lay hands on you and you'll receive spiritual gifts for you who are home I just encourage you as we sing this wonderful song, Minuit Chrétien, Christian Midnight, just expect to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I say it again, don't forget, enroll on healing-miracles.org forward slash win so as to get these gifts, these wonderful gifts, and participate in the contest so as to be one of those who could get the iPad. And where you are, just lift up your hands. Is the team ready? As we sing this song, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I ask you now, come baptize us with your Holy Spirit. Thank you for all that you've done this evening. We are so grateful for those who have been touched, healed, saved, delivered. I still see in the Spirit many people who are oppressed by the devil and by the authority that God has given me. I command these wicked spirits to stop oppressing, to stop your actions on the people be released from this diabolical oppression in the name of Jesus. And as you are being set free, you'll be filled by the wonderful presence, the presence of the Holy Spirit. And as he comes upon you, not only will he give you the fruit of the Spirit, peace, joy, love, perseverance, patience, goodness, kindness, he will also give you this this evening as a gift, but the Holy Spirit wants to come upon you and just give you the gifts of the Spirit as we sing this song, Minuit Chrétien, the Christian Midnight. Gifts of healing, gifts of miracles. May it just may you just receive, may it come upon you now. Just continue so everyone can receive, can be prayed for. And let us sing in the anointing of God this song, Minuit Chrétien, Christian Midnight. Uh, let the power of God just come forth. In the name of Jesus, receive on the Zoom session. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that's it. Heaven is open on you now. And the Holy Spirit is coming upon you, giving you not only the fruit of the Spirit, but also spiritual gifts. If you've never spoken in tongues, just open your mouth and just sing in tongues unto the Lord. Receive the gift of speaking in tongues. To, for that to happen, just open your mouth and let sounds begin to come out. Vowels, consonants, and just sing unto the Lord in this new tongue. That's it. That's it. Receive these gifts of the Holy Spirit in abundance. The gifts of healing be released this evening. Gift of miracles, gift of faith. In the name of Jesus, words of knowledge, words of wisdom, in the name of Jesus. Oh, holy night. Pour effacer la tâche originelle et de son père arrêter le courroux. Le monde entier tressaille d'espérance à cette nuit qui lui.
In the name of Jesus, I bless everyone watching you in this hall and those watching. May you have the most wonderful Christmas. Emmanuel, God in our midst, God with us, the God who heals, who delivers, who gives us his love, his peace, and all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This evening, be blessed in the name of Jesus. We'll take, the, the, We'll, we'll take the song again. Put your trust in him. Don't be afraid of vaccines, the pandemic. Just trust in the Lord and he will lead you as a good shepherd in green pastures. God bless you. I wish to everyone wonderful Christmas, a wonderful end of the year and a wonderful year 2022, which will be glorious, not because there'll be no difficulty, but because we have a redeemer. And as we sing, Oh, holy night. Be blessed. And for those who are in the hall, we're waiting for you to share biscuits and hot tea and warm wine. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for coming in our midst. And let your glory be upon every one of us. Hallelujah. 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 Joyeux Noël et au 22 janvier d'ici là. Have a wonderful end of the year and we'll see you on January 22nd. For the French speaking people, there'll be other programs before Christmas. We love you. Thank you for participating. May God bless you and see you soon. <laughs>